What's going on y'all? Random Thoughts here. And today we're going to talk about Toil. I'm even wearing the shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Run Deck. Um, and really what Toil is, uh, you know, as far as site reliability and engineering is concerned. Um, but yeah, let's just dive right into it. Okay, so what is Toil? And this is coming from a small to medium size uh, organization perspective. Small teams, you know, I'm not coming from enterprise, massive organizations like Google or anything like that. Although they do have videos on this on YouTube, of course, please check those out. Um, but from, from actually from the definition itself, we have, you know, work extremely hard or incessantly. Um, I guess what's interesting there is like this incessant portion because uh, I guess really like you could have those kinds of tasks uh, and it's like this repetitive task. You know, it could be something like, um, you know, daily, you do something multiple times a day or you do something multiple times a week. Um, that would be a good candidate for toil automation. Um, you know, you'd want to identify something that you're doing uh, fairly consistently and then you'd want to work to automate that. You'd want to, to create a sprint item on that, uh, identify how you can automate that, you know, what this particular task might be. Um, you know, whatever tool set you want to use, Ansible, Python, whatever it might be, uh, and then automate it. Um, you know, so the other caveat to that is like, if there's a task that's toil that is like once a month, uh, I don't know, that's, that's your judgment. You know, some people have, uh, I shouldn't say people, some organizations have toil budgets in place. Um, I'm not currently dealing with a toil budget. This is something that has potential in the future because it is, you know, ultimately it's like a nice metric to have, I guess, you know, what are you doing throughout the day? And as a lot of videos have already mentioned, the E and SRE is for engineering. You know, this is, this is why we shine through when it comes to like things like automation and, and utilizing a computer to do repetitive things for us. Um, so some examples of it that I've dealt with fairly recently, um, at least within the past like year or two, um, there was like a scenario where we had to do AMI backups. Um, and you know, this is something we just automated, you know, so we used Python and Boto three, uh, and then we took that and automated it so that we had nightly backups for AMIs because, you know, backups was for whatever reason, you know, something that wasn't on, uh, our minds for a, a, a bit. <laughs> so that's, that's done. You know, that was essentially toil. That was like, you know, I'm sure there's different ways to do that now, but this was, this was a while ago. Um, and of course, like talking about all this, you're probably willing to think of all these different ways to do this or accomplish this. So that's, that's great. Mentioned in the comments. Um, another thing is more recent was like utilizing something like UiPath or PA and then talking with some, uh, with some people that have to go in there and like manually like restart a node or something like that, where, you know, that it really become, becomes, you know, toil where we could help these people or these departments. Uh, and find a way to automate that, you know, once again, whether that's through Ansible, whether that's like a script, whatever, whatever it might be. Um, so that's, that's something there as well. Um, lots more examples. I mean, even like, you know, just kind of in the test space, you know, if you're dealing with QA or something like that, and if you're like continuously having to get to a specific state of, of a service or whatever it might be, whether it's UI, whatever it might be, uh, and you have to keep going through that to get to that certain point in time, um, think about automating that, you know, that's, that's something to automate as well. Um, and that's more on the test side, but even for like benchmarking, uh, you know, as opposed to like, you know, running like Google Chrome dev tools or something like that, think about utilizing something like locust.io, uh, or another JMeter, whatever your <laughs> preference is for that. Um, it's all good. Uh, and then automate that portion, you know, think of a way to automate like, you know, benchmarking so that you can utilize those metrics from like a performance perspective of, you know, where infrastructure might need to need to go or something to that effect. Um, anyway, so that's just a couple of scenarios and examples. There's just so many more. If you want to talk about that, just let me know in the comments. Um, but that's, that's kind of like my personal thoughts on toil, just from like that small team perspective. Um, you know, it's, it's really comes down to identifying something that's continuous, uh, you know, and, and kind of like essentially budgeting yourself as how much of this repetitive, like manual work that you want to do. Um, instead of, you know, utilizing a computer, which, which will do this nonstop without thinking, you know, well, sort of, <laughs> but that's, that's it. That's kind of toil from a site reliability engineering, small to medium sized company perspective. Um, hopefully you learned something. If not, uh, let me know.
that's it. Take care.